Now let's get to our top story this morning. The El Paso Police Department releasing new information on a deadly crash involving multiple cars on Saturday. Police say congestion on I-10 caused a man to slam on his brakes, creating a ripple effect involving multiple cars and took the life of a 46-year-old man. Well, this is the video of that pileup live as it was happening over on Lee Trevino and Gateway. Now, according to investigators, the first driver hit his brakes due to a backup here on I-10. That caused a second driver to switch lanes and then hit another vehicle. Well, that car then crashed into a semi truck. The semi jackknifed, lost its load, and those contents reportedly killed Steve Carmona. Yeah, that's right. Now, Sandra Marquez, she's an instructor at SFM Defensive Driving School, and they spend their days teaching El Pasoans the importance of safe driving. And with Saturday's multi-vehicle wreck, Marquez says drivers need to be more cautious when it comes to merging into congested traffic. Well, she gives three rules of the road to follow to decrease the chances of a collision. The first being to create a good following distance to give you better reaction time for the unexpected actions of other drivers. Also, always observing what's happening around you and being aware, she says, every three to five seconds, drivers should check their side mirrors. And of course, don't drink and drive. Drunk driving accidents are the most preventable. Marquez also says defensive driving starts with accountability. Be considerate of others, understand that uh, it has to do with respect more than anything. Because whatever I do behind the wheel is not only going to impact me, but everybody else that I'm sharing the road with. According to EPPD, the traffic unit is still investigating Saturday's crash. Now, this is El Paso's 13th traffic related death just this year and will continue to bring more details as they become available. Steve Carmona leaves behind a wife and seven children. A GoFundMe has been created to help support his family with expenses, as you can see right there. And you can find that link to the fundraiser on our website, ktsm.com. Now, we did get some comments in yep. regards to this story on our Facebook page from Orlando Cordova. He says, a tailgating leads to these chain reaction crashes. Slow down and give space. Stay safe. And yeah. you would think this is common sense, right? But sometimes people just get agitated driving you know, in the tailgate it, but it's hard not to get calm. worked up especially when there's a life at the line right like check out this one here this is from Liliana Quezada over on Facebook wear your seat belts people I know some people who still don't put on their seat belts when they drive and I just don't get it this is so sad and tragic and you're right Carla we're not curing cancer here this isn't rocket science this is this is driving on I-10 exactly there's just be no, careful there's That's no it. reason we should have 13 deaths already this year because like we just said from the driving circuit, there's just three simple things you got to do right give people some space wear your seatbelt and don't drink and drive exactly keep an eye on the situation